79 inch long board is cut into three pieces. That means length of a piece, length of a piece B, length of a piece C. If you add all of them, that should be equal to 79 inch, right? Do you all agree with that equation, Amma? Yes. Okay. And then what else is saying? Piece C is twice as long as B. So C is twice as long as B. Piece B five inches longer than A. Piece B five inches longer than A. Everybody got that? Yes. Okay. So now that we have equation, three equations and three variables, we are good. Find the sum of the lengths of pieces B and C. Everybody got that? Pieces B and C. This is what we need. So let's go ahead and simplify. So I can substitute. If I can figure out. If I can figure out B, I know C is twice B. Then that's all I need, right? So what do I need to do? Substitute uh, 2B in place of C. And then uh, solve for A from this equation. What is A equals to? Isn't it B minus 5? Take that and substitute here. So A value is nothing but B minus 5. And then B is B. And then instead of C, I'm going to plug in 2B. Now you see I have everything in a variable B. So add 5 on both sides. You get 84. And then a 4B. Got it, Amma? B is equals to 21. Um, wouldn't it be easier if you used A as your variable? I can argue uh, you know, this way too. Okay. Right. Now B is 21. If you substitute B here, what is your C? Simply twice B. Correct? Which means 2 times 21, which is 42. So your C is 42 and your B is 21, which is 63. Okay, yeah, different approaches, Amma. Whatever clicks at that moment, go with it. Okay, I'm I'm not saying my approach is good. If you feel the other approach, what you have is um, easier, go with it. But make sure whatever approach you go with is the most optimal. 